everybody has been asking me to react to Honkai Chronicles because they tell me that a lot of lore gets explained from the shorts that I watched on the official channel. Uh, unfortunately, this this playlist is out of order. This is from the official Honkai Impact third YouTube site, but just like the, I know a lot of you guys said I missed either one or two anime shorts. Uh, let me know in the comments down below because there's been so many comments. I'm so sorry. I can't keep up with all of them. Like TikTok comments. Uh, I have a second YouTube channel. Like my TikTok, I get like hundreds of comments a day. It, it's it's so hard to keep up with comments. I feel so bad that I can't respond to everyone because I try. Uh, and then I have my second YouTube channel, uh, Twitch, and you know this channel. I try to respond to as many and look at as many comments as possible, but it's very very hard sometimes. So if I don't answer your comment, I'm not ignoring you. I promise. Um, if you did, per you know previously put the animated shorts that I missed. I think you guys said Elysian Realm and one other one. I don't know what the other one is. Feel free to leave them down in the comments down below. Um, I'll try to like pin it so I can remember on this video. I'm assuming chapter one is the first one that we're gonna watch. Captain Greetings captains. Welcome to the Honkai Operations Center. Have you wondered where the Valkyries came from? What are they fighting for? Yes. And what exactly does Honkai mean? Yes. We will be diving into the history and worldview of Honkai Impact throughout this series. Oh, wow, okay. Today is a basic introduction. I never knew they actually the did this. Story. Throughout history, the struggle between mankind and nature has never ceased. The Honkai-verse is based on a parallel universe that reiterates this conflict, humanity's struggle against the Honkai. But what is the Honkai? What we is the Honkai? We don't know exactly where it's from, but it's a force of chaos that existed from the beginning of time. Okay, a lot of people told me that to destroy in the comments. Human civilization. And when human technology advances, it grows stronger. Honkai have tried to destroy us through Wait. creating supernatural disasters, monsters. So, when humanity progresses further technologically, the like Honkai power gets stronger. The Honkai gets stronger. That's really interesting. It's almost like a deity. Like, if you were to think of an anime, right, where, like, the more people pray to the god, like, let's think of Noragami for a second, right? If any of you guys have watched the anime Noragami, the more people that believe in or pray to the gods, the stronger they are. That's really cool concept. And plagues also, and Noragami is goaded. Giving birth to Hershers, godlike beings who can bend physical laws. Okay. In the Honkaiverse, Humanity has already established a high-tech global civilization 50,000 years ago. Modern humans refer to this civilization as the previous era. Holy shit. Unfortunately, those high-tech humans in the previous era lost the war and were defeated by the Honkai. The previous era was destroyed, but some humans survived to rebuild human civilization. Wait, who's that? To rebuild human civilization. This brings us to the current era. Of course, Honkai wants to destroy humanity, so they didn't leave us in peace, even in the current era. 2717 BC wow. was the date of the earliest wait, record so of the Honkai. I know I'm, I keep pausing, but like, wait a minute. So we found out that Welt becomes a Hersher. Okay, never mind. I'm getting this. I was getting myself confused. I was about to say, Hersher wanted to destroy humanity. No, Honkai wanted to destroy Just humanity. Okay. Fortunately, gifted human warriors such as Ji Xuanyan helped us defeat these early Honkai monsters. I heard but Ji Xuanyan cool. disappeared into the seas after an expedition to defeat the giant Honkai beast Chiyo. Oh, she disappeared? To defend humanity against the Honkai, a religious organization known as the Shiksal rose after the fall of the, the Roman Shiksal? Empire. Okay. Shiksal was led by an overseer, usually a member of the Apocalypse family, who established Shiksal. Okay. It helped create the feudal order by helping various European princes gain power. They also developed crude Honkai-powered weapons and initiated the Honkai Crusades. The feudal armies of Europe fought the Honkai, defeating them in many battles and reclaiming lost lands. To increase its power, Shiksal also recruited and trained its own military. So they had their knights. The Valkyrie Order is the most famous Shiksal fighting force. Okay. And a legendary Valkyrie is Kallen of House Kaslana. Kallen. The Kaslanas are a family of knights known for their prowess in fighting Wait, the Honkai. Wait, so is this a different Kallen Kallen's than we know? She looks very, this looks like older, right? Because the Honkai, star, the Honkai Impact 3rd that we know is very like futuristic almost it looks like. And this design of her maybe makes it look like she's like, it's like way more in the past. The Kaslanas are a family of knights known for their prowess in fighting the Honkai. 
Kallan's most powerful weapon is the Oath of Judah, an artifact from the previous era. Oath of Judah? Bro, why is this fucking reminding me of Leucha and Starreal so much? With the was with very the effective against the Honkai. However, many things happened in the year 1470. 1470. Honkai created an infectious virus that caused the Great Plague. Jesus, they literally caused the Black Europe. Plague. But she wow, dude, Honkai Impact Third Story is like influenced by so much. This is actually crazy. Sol did not focus on treating the plague. Instead, the leaders wanted to dominate the Eurasian continent and declared war against the Ming Empire of China. The war ended with Shiksal's defeat in 1475. To pay for the losses, Shiksal increased taxes and took money from the poor. These bad decisions increased taxes. They must be American. Decisions only made Shiksal even less popular. When Shiksal tried to recover from its defeat, the Great Plague continued to claim lives. Otto Apocalypse, a younger son of Shiksal's ruling dynasty of House Apocalypse, managed to develop a cure in 1475. Otto developed the cure? The person that's supposed to be the fucking bad guy, quote unquote, bad guy? Although he was not the heir to the seat of overseer, Otto's discovery increased his popularity. The deaths of his father and brothers allowed him to become the new overseer. Since then, human technology continued to grow. Okay, Everyone I was right. This Honkai is way gone, in the past. But the first Honkai eruption took place in 1952. 1952. And destroyed the entirety of Berlin. The eruption gave birth to the first Hersher, a powerful godlike being capable of bending physical laws. Not Kevin. Shiksal, what was his name? I forgot. A rather... that, that's the one that Welt had to defeat, right? Isn't that, wasn't that supposed to be Himiko's father or something like that? I don't remember. Maybe I'm remembering it wrong. Secretive organization by now quickly overpowered and captured the Hersher for research. But Shiksal scientists failed to find out anything. The first Hersher was then transferred to a Shiksal lab in London for additional inquiry. It was there that the first Hersher was given the name Welt by the yep. resident scientists Einstein and Tesla. The scientists and leadership of the North American branch were already very displeased with Otto's militaristic leadership. So, what I'm getting from Otto is that he was... I wouldn't say like Hitler, but like damn near close in like in in wanting to make his military the strongest in the in the in the world some even doubted otto's willingness to eradicate the honkai these differences See? eventually led to the independence of the entire branch which renamed themselves anti-entropy in 1955. dude all those designs are Unlike amazing Shiksal, which relied on valkyries as its elite warriors anti-entropy designed and built honkai powered mechs the second Honkai eruption happened in 2000 and destroyed Siberia and the Russian Far East. Holy shit. It turned out that Shiksal were performing many inhumane experiments on Honkai resistant children. One of them, Siren, awakened and acquired Hersher powers and- Bro, she looks awesome. What the fuck? So they were creating Hershers with their experiments. Proceeded to take revenge against those who tested on her and her friends. Good. Shiksal mobilized hundreds of Valkyries and depleted its entire arsenal of Honkai fission missiles to defeat this foe. Damn, that's how fucking powerful Hershers are? Hundreds of Valkyries and fucking missiles and you couldn't even defeat her? Many Valkyries fell in battle, including Cecilia Shariak, reputedly the best Valkyrie of Shiksal. Wow. 14 years later, in 2014. 14 years later? How the fuck did we go from 1452 to 2014? Did I miss something? A minor Honkai eruption, referred to as an outbreak, took Hold place on, let me go in back Nagazora. Real quick. The outbreak, why? However, many things happened in the year 1470. 1470, Honkai yeah. To pay for the losses, Sheikh Salim 75. 1475. Was, allowed him to be, took place in 19, which has become a rather secret and destroyed the oh, entire. Oh, okay, 1952, yeah, the first. Of Berlin. Okay. The eruption gave birth to the first. Hey, how the fuck is Otto still alive? Many Valkyries fell in battle. 14 years later, in 2014, a minor Honkai eruption, referred to as an outbreak, took place in Nagazora. Nagazora? The outbreak wiped out the entire city and transformed many into zombies. Oh, it's the a zombie apocalypse. Was the partial awakening of Mei Raiden, the third Hersher, due Ooh. to an implantation of a Hersher gem. Okay, so that's how she became. The Nagazora outbreak was contained by Sheiksal Far East Branch, led by Teresa Apocalypse. The few survivors of the event, Kiana Kaslana, May Raiden, and Bronya Zajcek, 
were then enrolled in St. Freya High School. Oh, okay. Of training That's how they got enrolled. By Teresa Apocalypse. After Wait, but didn't they get en enrolled because they were found by Himiko? Contained by Sheiksal Far East Branch, led by Teresa Apocalypse. The few survivors of the event, Kiana Kaslana, May Raiden, and Bronya Zajcek, were then enrolled. Wait a minute. Is, is this just me or is this not making any sense? Oh, partial awakening. Oh, okay. So during the zombie apocalypse, she saved Ki Kiana, uh, is what it looks like. Caitlin, I mean, wait. Yeah, Kiana. Uh, she saved Kiana. Also, I just realized that in the beginning of the video, I was talking about Caitlin like it was Kiana. I'm an idiot. Um, I confused the two. But yeah, um, so she looks like she was trying to save Kiana from this supposed uh, zombie apocalypse. And in doing so, she partially awakened her Hersher power. She was the third Hersher. Okay. Survivors of the event, Kiana Kaslana, May Raiden, and Bronya Zajcek, were then enrolled in St. Freya High Bronya School, was so little. a Valkyrie training school built by Teresa Apocalypse after the Second Honkai War. Now we can finally move on to the events in the game. Teresa, Teresa Apocalypse. Wait, so that means she's related to Otto, correct? ...itself. Honkai Impact Third starts in the year 2016. Okay. You are the captain of the flying battleship Hyperion of Sheiksal Far East Branch. Okay. You will lead Kiana Kaslana, a brash and hot-headed Valkyrie trainee, and her other friends into battle. We hope this provides a basic understanding of the, the Honestly, this was very well done. This is very good. Universe. Very the good. Rest of the history wow, will I, I know way more about this now. Following the life of Kiana, May, Bronya, and other Valkyries in the Honkaiverse. Okay, now I need to see the next one. I have to do some research on which ones to watch next. Ooh, this is beautiful. This is about Bronya and Sila. Oh, this is a beautiful song. What the fuck? I still gotta react to the concerts and the trailers. The girl with the stigma, the silver wolf of Uralis. Silver wolf literally comes out today as I'm recording this of Urals. So this is silver. So this is Bronya Silver Wolf. This is the version of her. Okay. Fates are intertwined. Becca What the fuck? Oh, that's that's her other personality, right? Let me take her place. Wow, this is beautiful. See, it's crazy. Like, I, I sorry, I'm sorry to pause in the middle of that beautiful song. It's crazy how I never knew any of this about Honkai Impact Third, and immediately, this is how good the writing in Star Rail is, and and Honkai in general. Immediately as I I as they met in Star Rail, I had a feeling that they that their fates were like they were destined to like meet each other, right, or work together, and then seeing seeing their relationship flourish at that one moment where they were overlooking the town and having a one-to-one -one with each other and venting and opening up with each other. And then after Kokolia's death, like absolutely incredible job. So far in the story, that is my favorite part about the story is, is Branya and Sila. My dear host. That's when she became a Hersher, right? Oh my god. Wait, was that Kakolia saying I will not le lose another child to this? Oh my god. Wow. So this is what we saw on the short. Aww. That's when they both became Hershers. Aww. Wow. 
Wow, dude, that was... I literally have goosebumps. Holy shit. God damn, that made me tear up a little bit. All right, this next one is uh, Chapter 11 EX. Wait, Chapter 11. No, isn't that when Himiko died? Or it was like Chapter 8 or something? That's Himiko! Amazing Grace? What the fuck? This is fucking beautiful. Tiana. Wow, that's beautiful. Is that where she awakened her powers and actually like controlled them? Dude, how did I not see these? Holy shit. This one is for chapter 15? No idea if I'm watching this in order. I'm watching this. Is that Kevin? That is Kevin, right? Bro, how are these cinematics this fucking good, man? Holy shit, I need to sit up. I need to sit up. The music, the animations. What the fuck? She summoned a Susano? What the fuck is this broken ass power? just turned it into a giant black crystal and disintegrated it? Oh, dude, I remember the everyone hyping up this chapter when it first came out. That's crazy. All right, now we have an actual, the chapter two chronicles. Greetings, Captain. Welcome back to Honkai Operation Thank you. Center. Thank you for welcoming me back, sir. In recent stories of Honkai Impact Third, May has been the center of stage. She returned to the city of Nagazora, regained her Hersher powers, okay. and once again became the Queen of Thunder. I do, I do remember this seeing that in the shorts. How did multi-billion dollar corporation turn into a Hersher? What did she experience and witness? That blood? To answer these questions, we have divided May's journey into four parts. Ooh, okay, this is all Origins, about May. I love this. Valkyrie, okay. Arc Fugitive, and Returning to oh, Nagazora. Oh, wow, 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 wow. May Raiden was born on April 13, 1997 in the city of Nagazora. Okay. Her father, Ryoma Raiden, was the head of Massive Electric Corporation. May's mother, however, passed away when she was young, and her name remained a mystery. But we still don't know her name. May okay. was enrolled in the elite high school of Chiba Academy. Only children of rich, powerful, and connected people could hope to study there. And May Raiden happened to be one of them, and she was so much more. She was beautiful, tall and intelligent definitely everyone beautiful. in school idolized her but this didn't last forever disaster struck me corp that her father owned dude the lengths that they Real went to make these a like man like manga panels fraud and went missing to so avoid good. or arrest. is this from the actual manga i still got to read the manga. life was turned upside i'm definitely down. doing that her classmates and even teachers turned cold and ostracized her that was when she learned that their friendship and adulation were only reserved for her family fortune and prestige. Yep, and it's always like that. When her father ran away. Left alone to face an uncaring world, May soon became extremely jaded and started hearing a voice echoing in the darkness. A voice in my head it tells me that I'm the third Hersher. This world deserves to be destroyed. She chose to become a Hersher and ignited the 2014 Honkai outbreak in Nagazora. Millions died as a result. Oh, she's the reason While the May Honkai... In her new powers, a Effect mysterious happened? silver-haired transfer student named Kiana Kaslana suddenly appeared to stop her. What? With a fucking Instead baseball bat? Instead of trying bat? to kill May for destroying the city, Kiana appealed to her human conscience. With her help, May successfully subdued the Hersher within, and Kiana quickly became a close friend. 
Wait a goddamn fucking minute, bro. You're telling me Kiana wasn't even a Valkyrie at this time. May literally turns into a fucking Hersher, a fucking godly being. And she and Kiana just shows up with a fucking baseball bat <laughs> and just beats her ass and then just tells her to calm the fuck down and becomes her friend. Bro, that's wild. Are they, can someone confirm to me, are they canonically a couple? It seems like they are. The two girls it seems met like May is and in the love three with of them worked together to flee the stricken city. They were then taken into custody by Himiko, yep. a Valkyrie of Sheiksal's Far East branch. Teresa Apocalypse, who's in charge of the Far East branch, used all her powers and resources to enroll the three girls into her own Valkyrie training school, St. Freya High. And that was May Raiden, an ex heiress once worth billions, who Mom lost rip. both her parents, became ostracized, acquired Hersher Dad powers, became a Hersher. destroyed a city, met I two believe. very good friends, yep. and started BFF. training to become a Valkyrie and defend the world against the Honkai. May was ever fearful of the Honkai within her and agreed to let Himeko implant a heart bomb. The bomb has a sensor that will start a countdown if it detects Hersher impulses within May. During her training, May and her friends Kiana and Bronya took on many missions bomb? that included stopping an ancient Honkai monster, Chio, and recovering a runaway battleship known as the Selini. May also demonstrated her superb cooking abilities. I have to watch the cooking she anime. She even learned to play video games. <laughs> But it's things so would once again turn for the worst. Oh no. Shortly after graduating as fully minted Valkyries, May, Kiana, and Bronya were sent to Shikshal's Oceania branch Shikshal. to recover a Hersher core, the Gem of Desire. The gem was placed in an ex Valkyrie named Wendy, who served as its human vessel. But Wendy eventually lost control and became a Hersher herself. Oh, While the no. young Valkyries battled Wendy, Kokolia from Sheiksal's rival faction of Anti-Entropy ambushed them, using a brain chip implant to control Bronya and capture both Wendy and May. While May was held as a prisoner to be experimented upon for her Hersher Holy powers, shit. Bronya chose to sacrifice herself by burning out her brain chip so that Kiana and the others could rescue May and escape. You're telling me she fried her own fucking brain? May soon realized that her friends often suffered grievously just to save her. A sense of helplessness and a matching desire to get stronger began to grow in her heart. That wasn't the end of the bad news. As Teresa and the Far East branch worked around the clock to wake Bronya from her coma, Sheiksal overseer Otto Apocalypse suddenly abducted Kiana and took her to his secret headquarters. It turned out that the Overseer always had a secret plan this is how she became of reviving a, a Hersher known for her burning hatred against humanity. Was this the first Hersher? May, once hopeful that she could protect the world as a Valkyrie, realized that she simply wasn't strong enough. Bronya went into a coma to save her, Kiana was kidnapped, and her ultimate superior, Otto Apocalypse, turned out to be a scheming, scheming supervillain super who would soon unleash a terrible Honkai disaster upon the entire planet. Once again, May's life entered another pivotal moment. Kiana was revealed to be an artificial clone designed by Otto that served one purpose only, to serve as a vessel to seat him. The Wait, so Kiana was a clone? An artificial clone? Oh my God. So she's very similar to like the Traveler and fucking the Trailblazer in Sarrail then. What the fuck? Designed by Otto. Oh my god, that matches with what I've been saying about us being a vessel for fucking the Trailblazer, uh, Akaveli. Holy fucking shit. Otto, that served one purpose only, to serve as a vessel to seat him, the second Hersher who was defeated in the year 2000. The second Hersher, sorry, yeah. To rescue Kiana and stop the impending Honkai eruption, Teresa of the Far East Branch rebelled against Overseer oh, Otto. Oh no, this is when she died, oh no. May also became part of the alliance forged by Teresa and Anti-Entropy. And together they fought their way into the headquarters of Sheiksal itself. While battle raged, Sidin began to stir in her slumber. The second Hersher gradually assumed control over Kiana's body and summoned a horde of Honkai Holy beasts. Shit. To help clear the way to the possessed Kiana, Teresa decided to remove the heart bomb from May. May was grateful for Teresa's trust 
Armed with the power of the Hersher within, she easily defeated numerous enemies. Oh, so she was actually able but to control all her it. all struggles were in vain. Wait, why? When the rebels stepped into the heart of Sheiksal, Sidin's persona had already succeeded in fully possessing Kiana. A terrible battle followed. Sirene tore away the gem of conquest from May's body and acquired even greater power. Wait, so she had two the Hershers inside of her? The Hersher core also took May out of the fight. Just when all hope was lost, Himeko entered into the fray and bravely fought Sidin. Her selfless fight gave everyone the time they needed to escape. Oh Teresa my God. and the exhausted rebels withdrew from Sheiksal. They failed to stop Otto and Sidin and became fugitives on the run. Oh. The Battle of Sheiksal was yet another blow in May's life. She couldn't save her best friend. Siren even took May's core, gaining greater powers to wreak havoc on the entire planet. And in the face of such an enemy, May's only option was to flee. Having been on the run for four months, Teresa came across witness reports of Kiana at Ark City, located in Shenzhou. Teresa, Bronya, and May tried contacting an intel dealer named Grey Serpent. Instead, so they wait, came across after... the Ninja... Sorry, I've been kind of quiet. I've been trying to, like, compartmentalize all, all, all these, uh... These... All this lore. So wait a minute. So... After Himiko's death, Kiana didn't rejoin the Valkyrie. She went off on her own for four months. It was just like a fucking lone wolf. Yo, a cyborg girl who might know Kiana's whereabouts. But Sheiksal's agent Rita suddenly appeared and defeated the three fugitives. They were forced to retreat with the Ningyo. The bad news was that the Ningyo no longer had He's any off. useful data after being formatted by Rita. Oh, May, damn. who felt she had been performing poorly in battle, asked Dr. Tesla to make her an augmented battle suit to work better with her residual Hersher powers. Meanwhile, the fugitives oh. also decided to split their forces in two. Teresa would respond to Kokolia's request and head to the deep located in the Pacific to retrieve the Gem of Desire. Gem of Desire, okay. May and Tesla would return to AE headquarters with the Helios to repair the Ningyo for data salvaging and Wait, locate the gem of Kiana's desire whereabouts. that was in the girl with the green hair that they defeated? While May and Tesla worked on the Ningyo, the cyborg suddenly conveyed a message from Rita. Rita revealed that Kiana was indeed in Ark City to investigate a mysterious serpent-backed company. Kiana even agreed to form a temporary alliance with Rita. So she was a lone wolf. But Rita soon trying walked to save the world, world on her own. serpent trap and lost her S-rank Valkyrie powers. Kiana was also captured by the World Serpent. With little options left, Rita thus decided to call May for support. Though suspicious of Rita, May would not give up any chance of reuniting with Kiana and went back to Ark City eventually. May was also surprised that Rita did not lie and even tried working with her. Wow. May did get what she wanted, reuniting with Kiana. She asked her friend to return to the Hyperion. However, Kiana chose to stay in Ark to stop the World Serpent from creating an artificial Honkai eruption in the city. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, she a was trying to do everything by herself. Raven tried to and stop then this Kiana, is how the, and the two girls fought her the off, short only happened. to realize that Raven succeeded in delaying them. A wounded May could only see her friend tapping into the Forbidden Void powers to send the detonating Honkai reactor away from the city and save millions of people. Mm -hmm. Kiana passed out from overexerting herself and fell. Her deadly descent was stopped by a tree that sprouted from a lance. May rushed forward to save her friend, Where did the lance come from? only to find Nicolia? out that Durandal, the most oh, powerful Durandal. S rank Valkyrie of Shiksal, had arrived first. Oh, shit. And this Valkyrie was ordered to take Kiana away. No matter how hard May fought, she couldn't stop Durandal. Once again, the cruel hands of fate tore this them apart. Is sad. The attempted reunion with Kiana at Ark City only deepened May's angst. Damn, she's gone she through a lot of shit. To stop and that, her weakness allowed them that constant, like, fucking in the back of her mind of not, not, like, never being enough, never being strong enough, always having what, you know, what's precious to you taken from you because you weren't strong enough to protect them. Like, God damn, that's so sad. To take Kiana. Though imprisoned at Sheiksal's Vemur Labs in North Africa, Kiana managed to escape during the chaos caused by a World Serpent attack. This is Kevin. She used her void powers again and teleported herself to Nagazora, the place where she first met May. Dr. Tesla detected the energy fluctuations from Kiana's teleportation 
and thus the fugitives headed toward the city that was destroyed by the Honkai, Honkai eruption Russian three years, three years ago. ago. Yep. I wonder why she went there. May and Tesla arrived at the city ruins and tried looking for Kiana. Instead, they found scavenging children living in shelters who survived the Honkai disaster. Wow! And they've been there for and three the fucking years? the sensei protector of these children who helped build their shelters was none other than Raven. The world serpent mercenary that May fought oh, in Ark City. Oh shit! Sweet. When Raven facing was rising protecting sea them? levels and Honkai resurgence, and also due to her need to protect the children, May agreed to set aside hostilities and join forces with Raven. Oh! Together, they located Kiana's whereabouts and even defeated the Honkai dragon Benares that was trying to protect its queen. Theron. Yep. Then Raven revealed her intent for coming to Nagazora. She wanted to kill Kiana and end the threat of the Honkai she poses. Nevertheless, Raven gave May a chance to stop herself. May drew her blade without hesitation and ended her brief alliance with oh, Raven. Oh, wow, and then she faced off but against... without her Hersher gem, oh, May was no match. no match against Raven. Again. The mercenary even scoffed at her, calling her no different than an ordinary oh, human. Oh, my God, that's... May knew that Raven would kill Kiana once she was defeated. She goes super She nice? decided to sacrifice herself and started concentrating Honkai energy within her. Raven was shocked. She just witnessed a Corliss ex Hersher releasing a sudden burst of terrible power. She therefore allowed May to take Kiana away. After enduring many battles and defeats, May was finally able to Holy bring Kiana shit. home. But then Dr. Tesla told her the bad news. The three Hersher cores within Kiana had overloaded her body with Honkai infection. She had less than two months to two live. Two months? May found herself utterly helpless after hearing the bad news. Dude, this poor she also girl. found that Kiana had lost several senses and could not even taste the food she cooked. The World Serpent, however, was well aware of the relationship between May and Kiana. Kevin Kaslana, the sire of the World Serpent, met May in person. He was a previous era survivor and lauded as their most powerful warrior. Okay, that's why everyone keeps telling me he's the most powerful Kevin warrior. Kevin promised May that the World Serpent could save old. Kiana's life. And that would require May to simply become a Honkai Hersher once again. Once May became a Hersher, one of the Hersher cores infecting Kiana would, would dissipate, dissipate and reappear in May instead, and then reducing her out. Kiana's infection. But May would have to leave Kiana and join the World Serpent to ensure that their grand project succeeds. Oh no! T please tell and me when you Project did not. Stigma successfully reforms the human race and defeats the Honkai. Kiana would no longer have to sacrifice herself to protect oh, the world. Of course, May is going to do save that. To her dying friend. May accepted the serpent's offer of course, without yeah, of hesitation. Course. And shortly after making her choice, a channel into the Sea of Quanta suddenly appeared in Nagazora. It turned out that Otto had fired the second divine key to create a channel oh, right through the sea. Oh shit, through the Quanta Sea. And this was only possible because of the deal that Kevin and Otto made a few days ago. Kevin told May that she should take this chance to absorb Honkai energy seeping from Nagazora and complete her metamorphosis. Oh my god! Everything that began in Nagazora would end in the same city. Three years ago, Kiana stopped May from becoming a Hersher, and the two girls became best friends. And now, May has decided to become a Hersher once more, just to save that Kiana. That was during the short, yep. When the transformation is complete, May will have to betray her friends and join forces with the enemy. But that's the price she needs to pay. Entering the darkness is the only way she, she can return had like Kiana a to the arc. My God, we're happy that you managed to stay with us Holy and reach the shit, end of this video. That was an emotional fucking video. We would video. also like to know what you think about the story so far. I think that May is a fucking incredibly written character, and I think when we see her in Star Rail, I'm gonna lose my mind. You would like to see next background oh my history God. of the factions such as the World Serpent, Sheiksal, and Anti Entropy, or background stories of characters on your Valkyrie roster, perhaps even secret technologies of the previous era. Do leave your opinions in the comments section. We'll see you next time. Honkai. This movement to come to the first place is the first place to the first place to the first place. No matter how much time, no matter how much time it is, Honkai has been in the dark and the world has been in the world. That's why we have our culture. So I have a question. What do you guys think is the Honkai in um in Star Rail? Do you think it's the you think it's the gods, the Aeons? Or do you think that they are the Honkai? No, they, they would be more like Hershers, right? Is this Kevin? 
どれほどの対価を払おうとも人類と崩壊の戦いを必ず勝利に導く。Holy shit! 俺はこのベルト人類を代表してお前に挑む。第一帝国出力。大挙剣士。天下制裁。力を取り上げ。Dude, these animations are fucking crazy. 俺は喜んで命を捧げる。ごめんなさい、チコフリート。一緒に帰れそうにないわ。国縁百科。清潔解放。Dude, why don't they make an anime out of the mangas? Please. God, that would be so fucking good. That's Otto. Goddamn, Keanu, you can't walk like that. You're gonna do something to me. Oh my God! Stop making me relive this pain. This is just a recap. It seems like. I'm pretty sure that's Happy's voice actor from Fairy Tale, by the way, for Kiana. I literally think she voices Happy in Fairy Tale on Eden Zero. Jesus Christ. All right, new chapter trailer, Japanese version, Reawakening. So this is part of the Chronicles, Honkai Chronicles thing too. The Sila? No. The Rondal? This one she was fighting Kevin? No, what the fuck is it? Bro, oh, these animations go so fucking crazy. That's Kevin. Hold the fucking phone. Is that not the same fire sword that the fucking MC in Sarreal has? Hello? Oh, these are from the animated shorts. I've seen these. Oh, who the fuck is that, though? I forgot her name. God, the music's so damn good. Now. All right, now we're on to the Honkai Chronicles for Kiana. Even though I already pretty much know a lot about her. A few her. years after the second eruption in 2000, a girl came into this imperfect world in an experiment pod. 
She had no name, only a cold serial number, K423. K423 was created by Otto via splicing Kiana Kaslana's genes and that from Siren the Hersher of the Void together. The Hersher core attained consciousness in the new body and she was expected to become a human with Hersher power into this imperfect world. A few years after the second eruption in 2000, a girl came into this imperfect world in an experiment pod. She had no name, only a cold serial number. Oh, so that's K423. how she was created. K423 was created K423. by Otto via splicing Kiana Kaslana's genes and that from Siren the Hersher of the Void together. The Hersher core attained consciousness in the new body and she was expected to become a human with Hersher so powers. So she always was born with a core. In 2007, Siegfried Kaslana attempted to abduct K423 in secret but was intercepted by Shiksal in his escape. His biological daughter went missing afterward. Siegfried adopted K423 and raised her as his own, but was unwilling to name her after his own daughter. Aww. That was until one day, to protect the injured Siegfried, K423 took up arms to confront a Honkai beast in his place. A tender soul defied fate for the first time in order to protect her loved one. Oh, wow, I didn't even know this. Actions, Siegfried decided to name her Kiana Kaslana. He made a promise to her. As the descendants of House Kaslana, it was an honored tradition for them to fight for their loved ones. Aww. On this day, the girl received her name from her father, and she set foot on a path deviating from her written fate. Oh, that's so cute, what the fuck? However, fate had other plans. In 2010, the latent Hersher persona awoke. Blazes of anger scorched the world that had just opened up to her. To protect Kiana, Siegfried used Judgment of Shamas to suppress the Hersher of the Void. But as a result, he was severely injured. She killed her own father? Siegfried <gasps> realized that he would inevitably rouse the Hersher persona again. To protect Kiana, he left her. The girl was worthy of love. Those who loved her could do anything for her. Oh my God. But in the girl's eyes, it was her very existence that brought them endless sufferings and miseries. Jesus, man. Nevertheless, she did not forget the promise with her father and continued to believe in the good of the world. In the Honkai stricken Nagazora, when Raiden Mei, who had become the Hersher of Thunder, turned against her, Kiana still reached out to her. When they were fleeing oh. Nagazora, he make a rescue Kiana trying. and May and took them to Saint Freya. Kiana's troubled fate was finally calm. The for writers a brief are moment. so good for Hawkeye, On the campus, my lord. She met friends who were like family and made the solemn vow to fight for all that is beautiful in the world. She wanted to stay. I have to watch this. But a cruel twist That's the next thing I'm would watching. soon break her hopes. Dark seeds germinated in the shadow of the peaceful years. The other sentience inside her preyed on all the good in her life once more by encroaching on her cognition in her dreams. Oh, Jesus. It was Kiana's pining for a mother's love that made her awakening possible. She created illusions to make Kiana believe that she saved her mother from sacrificing herself to end the second eruption. When she realized the great joy she experienced was elusive, she broke down and let the Hersher persona take over. Oh, shit. Being taken to the Shiksal HQ by Fu Hua, she was confined in the same bleak experiment pod just as when she was born. Only this time, Otto, who witnessed her rebirth, wished to see the Hersher of the Void return. What the fuck is wrong with him? Why? Just as Otto expected, the St. Freya group revolted and attacked the Shiksal HQ Was this HQ all for Kaelin, his woman? Like, I, I don't understand why he In needed fact, to do this. he wanted them to gamble everything for Kiana. Their deep love and the ensuing sacrifices would stimulate Kiana's emotions to help her overcome the Hersher persona so she could become a human with Hersher powers. Oh. The Hersher of the Void achieved complete awakening and pulverized St. Freya and Anti-Entropy in a display of power. Yeah, pulverized is a... Definitely the word. In the end, to save Kiana, he may go down to the Godsbane battle suit for Million Knight, Eclipse. 
She defeated Hersher of the Void and injected the Spear of Destiny. How many times am I going to see Sarah this tonight? Into Kiana at the expense of her life. Himiko fell into the imaginary space. Kiana might be a Hersher, but her friends and teachers still loved her and believed in her as much. The Yet narrator, by the way, is really good. Bear. Kiana wandered in Ark City after waking up from the nightmare. Okay, so I was right. She Honkai did just wake up from the nightmare. Zombies hunted her. The whispers of the Hersher tortured her. She wanted to run, but had nowhere to run. And then Himiko Those saved pains her again. and sufferings are predestined. She was test subject K423. The vessel of a Hersher, and the root cause of the world's and her loved one's miseries. Would the world be a better place had she died? Oh my god, she was gonna kill when herself? Kiana was prepared to die with the Hersher inside. Uh -huh. Fuha's sentience in her mind stopped her and the Hersher from reviving. Kiana finally remembered that Himeko sacrificed herself to save her because, as her teacher, Himeko believed in her potential to change the world. Kiana snapped out of grief and loss. To repay Himiko's faith, she will continue fighting her ill fate. That's fucking sad, dude. With Fuhua's help, Kiana learned how to contain the Hersher persona and utilize Hersher powers. She became a rogue hero that fought to save Ark City so from destruction. So she did become a fucking vigilante. Kiana okay. discovered that the Honkai disasters plaguing Ark City were not related to the Hersher of the Void. They were the work of a shady organization known as the World Serpent. All traces pointed to a dreadful ploy, Project Stigma. The catastrophe caused by it would level Ark City to the ground. Kiana must transfer the Honkai bomb planted by World Serpent to save Ark City. She made it. Yep, she Even sent the it Hersher into space. Persona and Honkai were eating her away. She did not fail Himeko. To change this imperfect world, she became the meteor that ripped Ark City's yep. darkness open and propelled the bomb out of the atmosphere, which rewrote the cruel fate what of this city. What a fucking legend. Damn, the fact she didn't die from that either, that's crazy. And then Durandal saved her, right? The unconscious Kiana was taken to the Shiksal North African lab by Durandal. Otto needed a Kiana who had harnessed Hersher powers to activate the second divine key. Sick of being manipulated, she broke out from the lab and escaped Kevin's pursuit under Fuha's cover. Kiana returned to the ruins oh, of Nagazora. Oh shit, Nagazora. so Fuha was protecting she her. She was ready to meet her end in the place where she first met everyone she cared about. She knew she had little time left as the Honkai core continued to corrupt her. To bring back Kiana, May set foot in Nagazora and saved her. Kiana had not stopped imagining how she would reunite with her friends once. Yet she could not seize the chance when it finally came. Honkai was growing thick in Nagazora. She had to step forward to protect the world and her friends, even if it would cost her her life. Jesus. She had always been like this. She would laugh off the worst injuries. She saved the world, saved everyone, but kept the pain to herself. She was killing herself to protect the good in the After world. After all that she went through. But she had forgotten that she also meant the whole world to her loved ones. To save Kiana, May made a pact with Kevin. A new gem of conquest solidified in her body. She became the Hersher of Thunder again and joined World Serpent by choice. May knew her best friend would never accept her choice, but she could not create a future for her dearest if she held on to her past. Oh. After May left, Kiana and Bronya went to Mount Taishuan to find the ways of mastering Hersher powers recorded by Fu Hua oh. without knowing the Hersher of sentience had already woken. In the illusion created by the Hersher of sentience, Fu Hua's lonely life, bound by her mission, flashed before Kiana's eyes. Oh, wow. Fu Hua planned to sacrifice herself again 
to seal the Hersher of sentience. That's when she said nope. Kiana could not accept a fate that exchanged their lives for the greater good. It was Himeko's. It was May's. It was Fuhua's. It was hers once. And it was not the happiness they wanted. Yep. To end this wretched story God, the, the way they so truly good. wanted, Kiana stopped fighting alone. She chose to believe in her friend. God, this is such a good story. In the theater of domination. As soon as I have free time, when all these shirt, sponsors and all these games are done coming out time. this year, she I am playing. Her fate I'm playing on Giant Black Third. She and the Hersher of the Void were both continuations of Siren's persona. The Hersher of the Void was Siren's hatred toward the world manifested. She was the other possibility, born from Siren's desire for love. Oh wow, I didn't the know that. that loved and helped her made this possibility a reality. Oh. Turning her from test subject K423 into a Valkyrie who fights for all that is beautiful in the world. Into Kiana Kaslana, who leads everyone forward. As for where her path leads to, we will soon find out. Is this before she became, you know, before she went to the moon and shit? Oh my god, that was fucking so good, my lord. Ugh. Oh. God damn. Now we're going to do the uh, Honkai Chronicles for Otto. Life is but a walking shadow. A clumsy actor gesturing on the stage who only appears briefly and steps off in silence. Otto Apocalypse, the most pathetic fool alive. Pathetic fool? He is the revered Shiksal Overseer. Life is but a walking shadow, a clumsy actor gesturing on the stage, who only appears briefly and steps off in silence. Otto Apocalypse, the most pathetic fool alive. Pathetic fool alive. He is the revered Shiksal Overseer. He is a corrupt, bigoted clown. Damn. Over centuries, he once sacrificed lives beyond count for his selfish desires, but also overthrew a decadent reign with people. See, that's support. what I don't understand. How the fuck is he alive for centuries? How is this motherfucker, like, is he's not a Hirsch or anything? He's he's a, a descendant of the Apocalypse family. Like, are they just like fucking immortal, bro? I don't understand. He treated humans as pawns. They'll probably explain and it. Trampled the value of emotion and life but treasured Valkyries at the front line and prayed for their triumphant return. Commitment and betrayal, friend and foe, truth and lies. No one has ever seen through him, but to Otto himself, his actions only served one purpose. Second Kalen. It all began in an afternoon 500 years ago. 100 years ago. Though Otto was born in the three houses, he was frail and sickly. He could only craft and whimsical sickly. inventions, which naturally deprived him of inheritance. His older brothers detested his effort at self-destruction, but no one noticed his inner needs oh, and Jesus. desires. Damn, so he had a fucked up childhood too. It was then that a white-haired, blue-eyed girl brightened Otto's cold and dull heart like Caitlin. a ray of sunshine. She praised Otto's work sincerely, expected great inventions from him, and invited Aww. him to save the world with her. For the first time in his life, young Otto felt recognized. He could be expected. He could be needed. Since that faraway afternoon. Love will make you do crazy things. Everything he did. That's all I'm going to say in my defense for Otto. Has gained meaning because of her validation. It was the love of his life. But the twisted fate would not spare them. The rampant plague and the failed crusade tore the prosperity they lived in apart. Power and force were the perfect fuel for greed, turning a shaky faith into the breeding ground for degeneracy. In the turmoil, the lives of the two reached a turning point. 
fearing abandonment, Otto chose to disregard ethics and performed experiments on dying patients. Oh, shit. He sought findings at all costs. Callan, who could not condone his crime, became a raven at night to spread hope and enact the justice in her heart. But lies oh, were Oh, wow. Lies. After many operations, Callan discovered the secrets of the human experiments and Otto exposed himself at the last minute. Before the infinite greed of Shiksal, individual will was nothing. Callan was imprisoned. <gasps> the cold bars separated the two that were once childhood friends, yet their minds had already drifted further apart. To Callan, the dignity of life was what she had sworn to defend. To Otto, morality and ethics were only prices to be paid. A loud slap and a conflict Jesus. of beliefs sent them on completely different paths. Otto knew that in no way could he stop Callan. He accepted it and helped her escape in silence. Oh, wow. After everything settled, Otto was given the key to the library. Although Void Archives used the index permission as a bait in an attempt to possess Otto. Wait, wait, wait. So Void Archives gave Otto that weapon, the gold box, to, you know, to make Otto as powerful as he was, right? So, Callan was just walking away with the purple one. Does that mean she had that one? Otto did not fall for it. He developed technology with pieces of knowledge, and thus a game that would last centuries began. In the days that followed, Otto searched for Callan while continuing his research and experiments. When he heard Callan was in danger in Yai Village, he immediately had Oath of Judah delivered, oh. but not the response letter that spoke his loving heart. Meanwhile, Callan sealed the Hersher of Corruption in the black box with Oath of Judah. Holy shit! But was severely wounded. Damn, so she was really strong. She was taken back to Europe by Shiksal for a trial. Callan was faithful, and refused to sacrifice for family feuds, and thus was sentenced to hanging. Otto tried everything oh he could, my God. but it was futile before the church's Didn't will. Didn't he like rewrite the entire on day world? Of execution, the desperate Otto released Honkai Beast on the execution ground. He planned to take Callan amid the chaos, but he underestimated Callan's resolve. In the end, Callan lost her life when protecting the people. Ugh. Now that I know the, the context of, of that, it's so sad. Otto's world gray again. Resentful, he chased after Callan's shadow. He tried to give this sad story. So was Kiana a clone of Callan, it seems like? Because they look very similar. It was like, it's like a fusion of Siren and Callan, right? Is what Kiana is. Happy ending as she would have wanted. He sounded the horn of revolution with his wisdom and cleansed the remaining evil with his hands. People sang his accomplishments and soldiers admired his resourcefulness. As cheers of victory echoed through the silent church, Otto could not help but ask himself if this was enough. Oh. In the centuries that followed, the hole inside Otto was still agape. The only way to mend it was to revive the love of his life and the holy maid of the people. Callan Kislana. Okay, so that was Siegfried's daughter then, right? Callan, it had to In be. In 1496, Otto had no choice but to travel to Shenzhou. In... Wait, that coffin. Wait a minute search of the legendary Master Phoenix for a chance to revive Callan. He met the fledgling swordswoman. Sushang! Oh shit, she literally looks just like fucking Su Wait, what the fuck? Sushang and Lucha meet in Star Rail and uh, what the fuck, bro? There's no way. There's no way Lucha is not Otto or Void Archives. He is one or the other because Void Archives has taken Otto's appearance before many times and then there's also the fact that Otto could literally be carrying coffin that uh, Callan in that coffin. Li Sushan and found the reborn Fuhua. Because 
isn't in star rail didn't we just do something in jianzhou that uh where we found out that we could revive people because i'm pretty sure that jing uh, jing yuang's master is is going to be revived because there's leaks of her being in 1.4 like people are playing her in the game you're gonna to blindfold on even an immortal celestial had regrets and could not bring back departed souls in the end otto and fuha made a pact shiksal would protect shunjo in the powerless fuha's place and fuha would serve shiksal as a valkyrie In 1952, the first Honkai eruption broke out. Shiksal captured the amnesiac first Hersher and performed three years worth of serial experiments Jesus. on him, which yielded nothing. Otto even approached him in person to persuade him into succeeding to the Shiksal overseer, but failed. To eliminate risks, Otto decided to wipe out the North American branch that was about to discover Shiksal's ugly truth. Wow. He launched Honkai fission missiles at New York, where tens of millions lived. Holy Heroes shit! He literally fucking nuked the forward and New crushed York City. Otto's scheme at the cost of their lives. This led to the independence of anti-entropy. This that's, failure taught Otto to. That's where Welt succeeded, and became the second Hersher of Reason. Correct. Independence of anti-entropy. This failure taught Otto to take hold of the power to retaliate Honkai, which led to the Clone Project and the Artificial Stigma Project. In 1972, Otto began running forbidden clone experiments in the hope of reviving Kallen, but the results were not satisfactory. After injecting the cells of Honkai Beast Vishnu, the first living batch of Kallen clones was born. First? Otto made them fight one another to death at the end of the survival. What test. the fuck? Only the individual numbered A310 rejected this absurd order. Her kindness in valuing life and her courage to defy her maker shocked Otto. He took A310 into his family and named her Teresa. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> so technically, Theresa is is technically related to to uh, Kiana. What the fuck? This lore is crazy. Apocalypse. Meanwhile, Otto established the Tower of Babylon Laboratory to study artificial stigma. Countless gifted children were taken from their parents and subjected to inhumane experiments day and night. Insurmountable suffering and hatred against humanity nourished these Oh my high god. Muscles. At last, Siren, the second Hersher, was born. Otto mustered Valkyrie troops to subdue the Hersher. Is that Teresa? Dived into her sentience with the help of Fuhua and received revelation from the will of Honkai. After many great sacrifices... Wait, what did I miss here? Otto mustered Valkyrie troops to subdue the Hersher. Dived into her sentience with the help of Fuha okay. and received revelation. From ah, that's why Fuha and Siren are both a part of uh, Kiana. That makes sense. In the will of Honkai. After many great sacrifices were made, Otto is that Siegfried? Otto gave the order to launch Honkai fission missiles at Siberia. To Bro, this motherfucker deep beneath the scorched missile. This motherfucker is literally Hitler. I swear to God. At Siberia, to this motherfucker just launching nukes everywhere. Scorched snowfield. Otto's resurrection project gradually took shape due to the guidance from above. For several years, Otto tried to create the most promising clone with Kiana Kaslana and Siren's genes for the second Hersher to possess upon return. He transplanted oh. So they haven't Siberians really said it. So made. this is Kiana, I'm guessing. This is Kiana Kozlana. This is Siegfried's daughter, right? Okay, so they took her cells 
Auto game okay. Project With Sirens, then that's why. Okay. And so he really did name For her after his daughter. Years, Auto tried to create the most promising clone with Kiana Kaslana in Siren's genes for the second Hersher to possess upon return. He transplanted the core of the second Hersher to the test subject numbered K423. The longing for Cecilia gave her life. After being taken to St. Freya by Himeko, the love she felt and the bond she made helped her learn to love this world and those around her. Watching Kiana move along the path he designed, Otto knew when she began to believe she would never be alone was when he could advance the plan. That's so fucked up, man. In the illusory Tower of Babylon, the girl's despair and longing for motherly love facilitated the Hersher persona's awakening. Fu Hua took her back to Shiksal. The experiment pod confined her once again. Facing the pod, Otto's eyes only showed a hunger for the Hersher of the Void's power. Like, what is wrong As with Otto this motherfucker? Injected enormous Honkai energy into K423. Hersher like, how is Vo any of this supposed to help reviving Kalen? Void returned. Otto saved the dying Fuhua and told her his plan. Looking into Fuhua's furious eyes, Otto paused for a short yet long moment and pulled the trigger. What the fuck? Everything went according to his plan. He make a burn up her What the fuck? Plan. Otto saved the dying Fuhua and told her his plan. Looking into Fuhua's furious eyes, Otto paused. He for saved a short her just to kill her? What the fuck is wrong with this dude? The trigger. Everything went according to his plan. Himeko burned up herself to tear through Siren's will. Kiana's sentience returned to the body of the Hersher. To obtain a Hersher of the Boy who could command the power with human will, Otto trampled emotions and disregarded lives. Jesus. Otto believed that love and emotional bonds could evoke miracles, but he never respected nor honored them. What an asshole. So far, Callan's revival was only missing a key. Cosmic Juggernaut's beacon. Previously, to reach the imaginary tree that governed how worlds worked, Shiksal cracked the legend of King Arthur and found the key of infinity that offered space travel in the River Thames. Holy shit. But it was incomplete. Durandal passed Pioneer Sue's test by chance and received information and experience as numerous as sand grains in the Ganges. To complete Cosmic Juggernaut, Otto struck a deal with World with Serpent's Kevin. leader. He traded Void Archives for Cosmic Juggernaut's beacon. When the Hersher of Dominance and Hyperion were locked so in he battle, traded Void Archives? he took the Theater of Domination and thousands of cores in secret. Holy fuck, thousands of cores? At last, the fully prepared Otto returned to the beginning. Colisten, where Shiksal's blood and tears were buried. It would become the end of his long journey. Oh shit, and then this is when his On short the other happened. Side of the stage, to rewrite the world had pretty much. themselves as well. Teresa would succeed as the Shiksal overseer and lead the newborn Shiksal toward a bright So future. this is a different like timeline. Ronya would shoulder the weight of the Welt name for the Hersher of Reason's path had stretched to her. Fuhua concluded a feud that spanned centuries yep. so she could embrace yesterday as a human and open the door to tomorrow. Kiana broke free from the shackles of fate and created a trail of flames that would guide yep. them forward with her fans. That was a crazy short anime Durandal short. Durandal broke through the barrier of Kaslana and earned a new heritage that only belonged to her. Damn, she really turned into Odin, the fuck? Valkyries were eager to settle accounts with Otto. Indeed, they won. Their crushing victory was a heavy blow to Otto. What they did not know was that their growth, their resolve, and even the joy of winning were also part of Otto's plan. Oh my god, that's, yeah, that's what he planned for in the past 500 years was but a bargaining chip to attain death and a new life. Oh my God. After being defeated by Valkyries. Holy shit. So he literally did all this for 500 years knowing that at the end of this, he was going to die. 
and that he was gonna at least bring his the love of his life back to oh my what a fucking great character he literally reminds me of n from xenoblade chronicles 3 i know i already said that in a previous video but he really he really does literally becomes the villain just just to protect the love of his life and it would do anything it, even destroying his entire killing his entire family that's what n did Killing all his descendants. He killed them all. It, as long as it meant protecting his loved one. Uh, protecting him. Otto broke free from Imaginary's control momentarily. He imbued the world's wedge with all the false god's power to create infinite possibilities for Kallen. As Otto left his last message, his sentience finally dissipated in the still time space. Holy fucking shit. That's crazy. To different people, Otto perhaps means different things. But to Otto himself, all rights and wrongs are transient. He has attained eternal peace. His life as a fool is finally... Oh my over. God. You, oh my God, violins, man, they always get me. Wow, what a fucking great character. Holy fucking shit, man. What an incredible character, incredible writing. Oh my, oh. That's just so sad. That's, oh my lord. That's probably my favorite one out of all of them. All right, this should be the last one. Hersher of Reason. I don't think this one has an English one. I looked, I tried, it's fine. Oh, so he was in the middle of the zombie apocalypse thing? Oh, the first Hersher, okay. Not Welt, okay. I thought this was going to be about Welt. But it's about the first Hersher of reason, not the second or third. ワールドジョイス。ジョイスを手に入れます。それからジョイスは短い平穏な日々を満喫しました。実験室の助手になった彼は二人の科学者と親しくなり、さらに玉幅にを探す旅で個性豊かな仲間を作って会いました。穏や
Yeah, I could imagine Jesus Christ. Oh, wow. He was very heavily influenced by him, huh? Ah, uh, and this is the same Walt that's in Sarel now. The only person from this universe. Oh, he fought against Siren, that's right. Oh, shit, that's fucking cool. Helped by the god on the moon. Never fucking yielded. Holy shit. Oh, that looks beautiful. Oh, we get trapped in the Sea of Quanta. Heaven. Isn't this when he gave it to Branya? The worst method. The world serpent, yep. Oh my god, this artwork is beautiful. Into a shield, keeping the sea of quanta into the real from going into the real world. Abranya. Oh wait, wasn't that the one that he adopted? Yeah. And there's Branya who takes his takes his place. Oh, she had to live as a, a mercenary. Oh my god. What the fuck? That's what happened? She got she got stuck in the sea of quanta? Oh, she couldn't save her. Oh. Oh, さらに仲間とその世界を守ると決めました。その後、ソチビューティフルミュージック。Okay, the gem of desire, remember this. Yep. Yep, we, we saw that she was controlled by a chip because of Otto. She burned out the chip in her brain, yeah, I remember that. So she literally like fucking made herself brain in a coma. Jesus. 
trial in her dream. ブローニャは迷わず戦場に向かいます。その時、少女は愛因シュタインから、エデンの意識を呼び戻します。一方で、エデンの星が意味するものを、ブローニャが知らなくても、ベルトのように、エデンの星で仲間を守った時から、少女
Oh my god, that version of Ronya is so fucking cool. What the fuck? I don't think I watched... Is there an animated short for that? Because I don't think I've watched it. I don't remember seeing that form. God damn, that was crazy. What the fuck? All right, the next thing I'm probably going to react to on another video is probably going to be um, the, the cooking anime that they did. And then there's the other slice of life anime that they did as well. Probably going to react to both of those. And then also... Uh, I gotta react to the concert, but I'm gonna be honest with you. That might take a little bit. I might do the anime sometime this week um, because they're kind of short, they're like five minute episodes, I think, or something like that. Five to ten minutes. I could probably watch that all that in one, you know, sitting. Um, but the thing is, I am going to, as of recording this, I am going. First of all, Summer Games Fest is coming up on Thursday. It is now two thirty in the morning on on Tuesday as I'm recording this, um, and Summer Games Fest is in two days. And then immediately after Summer Games Fest, uh, the next day I'm flying out to LA in California to play Final Fantasy 16 early because I got flown out or invited by uh, Square Enix to go play Final Fantasy 16 at their invite-only event in uh, Los Angeles, California or, uh, on the 11th. So I'm flying out on the 10th, um, the 9th, I'm sorry, and uh, I'll be there for like three to four days. So I won't be able to upload or record anything. I'm going to try to schedule content to be released as I am, you know, while I'm there. That way, when I'm there, there's already stuff scheduled. Um, so I'm going to try to do that. And make sure you guys look for that on Sunday because uh, I will be streaming, possibly, um, Final Fantasy 16, the first few hours. So from the event itself, it's going to be like an E3 style event. If you guys have ever you know, seen stuff like that, it's going to be pretty much like that. Uh, from from what they've told me so that's that's why you know content for star for a star rail or honkai might be a little you no know, there might not be much more after this for this week and next week because i'm probably going to make a lot of content on final fantasy 16 and depending on if we get a rebirth trailer on thursday at summer games fest and then also an ever crisis trailer i'm probably going to be making a lot of content on those three games uh for quite a bit but i'm still gonna be playing star rail and making content on it. it just won't be as much so if you guys have to wait for some of these reacts i'm sorry uh they will be coming but just know i'm going to be focused on other things for a little bit thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoy this if you did make sure you hit the like button let's get this to a thousand likes you guys loved the reaction to all the animated shorts you guys love the kokoli reaction you guys are loving all the reactions that i'm doing to this and i'm loving the lore like literally this video made me cry so many times watching some of these lore like info drops for some of these characters and i've never even played the game that's crazy and of course if you guys want to see more make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and ring notification bell to be notified for future videos thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys on the next video